With ballots in the mail, registered Californians can now officially vote in several key races, including the contest for state controller, also known as California's independent fiscal watchdog. 17's Capitol correspondent Aton Wallace spoke with both candidates and got their message for voters. As the state spends your tax dollars, the state controller is there to serve as its watchdog. And this election, Republican Lon Hee Chen and Democrat Malia Cohen each hope to earn your vote as they vie for the office. I'm running because I want this government to work for everyone. I am the person best equipped to be a true watchdog for taxpayers. The controller is actually one of the most powerful positions across state government, making sure the funds allocated by the legislature and governor go where they're supposed to go. Chen says in addition to his role as a Stanford University public policy educator and researcher, his experience as a small business owner and former member of the Social Security Advisory Board serves him well for the California Controller's Office, an office he says must prioritize fiscal transparency. California is the only state in the country where we don't have complete line-by-line -line transparency into state spending. So job number one, in my view, is a full transparency database where we can go and see every line out of a state spending where every Californian can access that and see for themselves exactly what's going on, exactly what's happening, what we're spending money on. He also says there needs to be more honesty about how much California owes in unfunded liabilities, specifically retirement benefits pledged long ago to state employees. At the end of the day, those liabilities are going to be things we need to pay. We're going to want to keep those promises we've made to teachers and state employees. That's very important. But we're not going to be able to do it in an honest way if we don't know how much we actually owe. Cohen says her role as chair on the State Board of Equalization and her experience as a former San Francisco County Supervisor prepare her well for controller. One of her top priorities, reform and simplify the state accounting system known as Fiscal. Right now we have a very fractured accounting system. Um, Corrections has one system, uh, the Board of Equalization has another system, legislature has another system, and so it's not, it doesn't seamlessly all come together. And so what I want to do is make the system more efficient. She says the state must also fix how it communicates with non-English speakers, starting with the translate button on the controller's website. Not everyone in the state of California that's doing business speaks English, so I want to be able to reach people with where they are. But the race has not come without its controversies. On the Cohen side, the foreclosure of her San Francisco condo more than a decade ago has resurfaced. Given the foreclosure history on your personal residence, what do you say to some voters who say they're worried about you overseeing taxpayer dollars? I would say that you don't have to worry. I, the foreclosure that, you're, that, that my opponent is making an issue of happened in 2009. And since then, I have served 13 years in elected office, and I haven't had any kind of challenges. And on the Chen side, no GOP candidate has won statewide elected office in California since former Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger in 2006. You are a Republican running for statewide office in a blue state. So what are you doing to reach out to voters on the other side? You know, we are running a campaign, uh, and I'm talking about issues that I believe all Californians care about, regardless of their partisan affiliation. Two candidates, each hoping for your vote. In Sacramento, Aton Wallace, 17 News.